Okay, we have differential equations. So let's start. First, let us define what is differential equation. So differential equation is defined as an equation that contains derivatives or differentials. Okay, so therefore, equation number one with equation number two and equation number three, same with equation number four, are examples of differential equations. Again, by definition, a differential equation contains derivatives or differentials. Equation number one, we have here dy over dx. So it is derivative of y with respect to x. So meron siyang derivative, kaya yan ay differential equation. Now, equation number two, it is y triple prime. And fourth derivative of y with respect to x. So meron pa rin siyang derivatives, kaya yan ay differential equation. Now, equation 3, so meron siyang y prime, first derivative, y double prime, second derivative. So yan pa rin ay differential equation. So meron siyang derivatives. Now for number 4, so meron siyang dx and dy, yan ay differentials. So, yun yung differentials. So, yan pa rin yung differential equation. So, yung definition ng differential equation, dapat mayroong derivatives and differentials. So, lipat tayo sa order and degree of a differential equation. Sige. So, by definition, ang order ng differential equation so defined as the same as the highest derivative in the equation. So when we say order, it is the highest derivative in our equation. Now, when we say degree of a differential equation, so it is defined as the power to which the highest order derivative is raised. Okay, so degree, it is the highest, no, it is the power no, of the highest ordered derivative. But we have condition given here. So sabi dyan, after the equation has been rationalized and cleared of radicals and fractions with respect to all the derivatives. So dapat wala tayong radical or fractional exponent doon sa mga derivatives natin. Okay. Meron tayong illustration. So number one, we have dy over dx plus 4y equals 0. So before we proceed with degree and order, balik tayo ng function. So if we have y equals f of x, so y is a function of x. So meaning the value of y depends on x. Tama naman, ano? nakadepende yung value ng y sa value ng x. Usually, y ang ating unknown dito, magbibigay ng value ng x, then we're going to find the value of y. So, y is unknown. Y is dependent doon sa value ng x natin. Kaya, ang tawag sa y ay dependent variable. Now, yung x naman natin, yan yung independent variable natin. So, if we have y equals f of x, mangyayari dyan by differentiation, we have derivative of y with respect to x. So meaning, your dependent variable is differentiated with respect to the independent variable. Kaya meron kang dy over dx. Derivative of y with respect to x. So ang y ang dependent, ang x ang ating independent variable. So in our equation number 1, yung y ngayon ang ating dependent variable x ang ating independent. So, y is differentiated with respect to x. Kung tayo ngayon sa order and degree. So, we have first derivative. Ang kanyang power ay 1 lang. 
So, first derivative yan. Kaya meron tayong first order ng differential equation. Since ang ating derivative ay nakakrace lang sa 1, so yan ay first degree. Now, example number 2. We have quantity xy plus y dx minus the quantity xy minus x dy equals 0. So, dito ang given differentials. Uh, isin mo natin ano. So, itong equation na yan, pwede mo yung isimplify by dividing, by transposing muna. Transpose nyo muna to So, yun yun. Quantity xy minus x dy. Then, I will solve for dy over dx. Kaya, kailangan i-divide ko yung equation ko ng xy minus x para makansa dito. Then, divide ko ito ng dx para makawala dx dito. Ano siya, ano? Kaya, mangyayari, I-divide mo siya by xy minus x dx to solve for dy over dx. So, cancel yan sa ito. Kaya magkakaroon tayo na quantity xy plus y over xy minus x equals dy over dx. So, pag ganito ang ating pag-simplify, yung y ang ating magiging dependent variable. X naman ang ating independent. Or, pwede mo na siya simplify ng ganito. Kukunin ko naman yung dx over dy. So, divide ko ngayon both sides by the quantity x plus y, uh, xy plus y times dy. So, makakancel ng xy plus y, saka yung dy sa kabilang side ng equation natin. Then, we can solve for dx over dy na equal sa xy minus x all over xy plus y. So, ito yung ating dx over dy. Sa case naman na to, x ang ating dependent variable. Y naman ang magiging independent. So, pagka ang given ni differential sa ganito, yung x ay pwedeng maging dependent or independent, same with y. So, meron ka dyang first derivative, tapos ang kanyang power ay 1 lang din, kaya yan ay magiging first order and first degree differential equation. Next, dito meron tayong fourth derivative. Meron tayong third derivative, y triple prime. Balik tayo ng y is equal to f of x. Diba? Sa higher derivatives, first derivative is y prime. Second derivative is y double prime. And we have third derivative as y triple prime. Pagdating na lang ating fourth derivative, yun na siya, ano? Ito na ang symbol na ginagamit natin. Sa so pagka-pip yan, magiging 5 lang yan. Hanggang nth derivative, magiging letter n. Kaya ito ay fourth derivative. So, ang highest derivative mo ngayon ay 4. So, meron tayong fourth derivative dyan. Kaya yan ay fourth order. Tapos, ang kanyang power ay, ayun, 3. So, 3 ang power. So, meron tayong third degree. So, fourth order, third degree, differential equation. Next, we have m, y double prime, equals 3x minus y prime, uh, squared, uh, quantity raised to 1 half. So, dito, meron tayong second derivative, meron tayong first derivative. So, ang ating highest derivative ay double prime second derivative. Kaya yan ay second order differential equation. Ngayon, lipat tayo ng degree. Di ba ang sabi doon? Dapat wala tayong fractional or radical. So, kailangan muna siya irrationalize. Ito kasi, yung y prime mo ay nakaray sa 1 half. So, yun siya. No? Meron tayong 1 half. Yan ay fraction. Kailangan mo nang mawala yung fraction na yan bago natin makuha yung tamang degree ng differential equation. Simplify natin. So, para matanggal yung 1 half, gagawin natin, yung buong equation na yan, magkabilang side, ay kailangan natin erase sa 2. Sige, no, yun. Square mo yung left side, saka yung isang side na equation mo sa right side natin. Then, simplify natin dito, magka-cancel na yan, 2 over 2 yan, 
using loss of exponents to so over 2. So, meron ka dyang 1. Kaya magiging quantity my double prime squared equal na lang sa 3 minus quantity y prime squared. So, again, ang ating hahanapin ay yung highest derivative. Ito yun. No, y double prime. Nakaraise ngayon sa 2. So, meron niyang degree na 2. So, ganun lagi. Eh, no? Check nyo muna kung meron bang fractional exponent yung ating mga derivatives. So, sa case na yan, meron tong y prime. Ngayon, naka one half siya. So, kailangan muna siyang alisin o irrationalize mo muna dapat bago makuha yung tamang degree ng ating differential equation. So, yan yung order and degree of a differential equation. Okay, so, lipat tayo ng partial sa kanang ordinary differential equation. So, okay, define muna natin. Sabi dito, in the ordinary differential equation, an equation whose unknown function depends on a single variable only. Sa so, paano yun? Let's say, again, we have y equals function of x. Diba? Sabi daw, yun though unknown, depends on a single variable only. Ito, y, di ba, nakadepende yan sa x. Usually nga, y ang unknown dyan. Kasi binibigay ang value ng x. We're going to find the value of y if x equals sa ganitong value. Kaya yung y, dyan ang ating unknown. Now, by differentiation, makukuha mo dyan ngayon, derivative of y with respect to x. So, yan ay ordinary derivative lang. No, kasi isa yung variable mo dito. y depends only on the value of x. So, meron ka lang derivative of y with respect to x. So, ito ang ordinary differential equation. Now, yun tayo sa partial differential equation. An equation whose unknown function depends on two or more variables. So, let's say we have z equals function of x and y. So, yung z nakadepende ngayon sa x and y. Kaya dito, z yung unknown natin dyan. But by differentiation, since ito ay dalawang variables na, so yung z nakadepende na sa x at saka sa y. So, pwede mo nang kunin yung partial derivative ng z with respect to x or with respect to y. So, meron ka na ngayon dalawang variables, no, x and y na. Doon nakadepende yung z natin. So, ito ngayon yung sa partial differential equation. Yan ang symbol na gamit. Actually, madaling alamin dito eh. Kasi alam mo yung symbol gagad, ano? Yung partial sa kanong ordinary. So, we have equations here. Ito yung sample ng ordinary differential equation. Ito, pag inayos mo nga yan, kagaya kanina, pwedeng gawing dx over dy yan. Equal sa x minus 1 over 2 plus x. Diba? Divide lang ito by 2 plus x, saka dy. So, we can solve for dx over dy. Or pwede siyang maging dy over dx equals 2 plus x over, all over x minus 1. Kaya meron ka dyan ordinary differential equation. So, meron lang tayong isang independent variable. So, x depends on y or y depends on x. We have x dy, uh, x dy over dx plus 5y. So, I can deliver dy with respect to x equals xy. Again, y depends on x. x lang siya nakadepende. So, meron pa rin tayo dyang ODE. So, yun yung mga example ng ordinary differential equation. Since the unknown y depends only on the variable x. So, yun siya, ano. Ito lang saya, una example, pero pwede yung maging x, iba depends on the variable y. Depende sa pagkakaayos dito. And next. So, again, we have here Example of equations, partial derivative of z with respect to x, minus 2, we have second partial derivative of z with respect to y, plus x equals 0. So, dyan pala, kita mo na yung symbol na ginamit, partial derivatives. 
Tapos, yung z, nakadepende sa x at saka sa y. So, yun ay partial derivative or partial differential equation. Kasi yan ay z is function of x and y. So, yung z, dependent sa x saka sa variable na y. Another one, sa so, kumukha nung kanina, your v is a function of x and y. So, the variable v, or unknown natin na yan, nakadepende uh, depende yan sa x at saka sa y. So, meron pa rin tayo dyan partial differential equation. So, yan yung mga samples ng partial differential equation. So, the unknowns z and b depend on the variables x and y. So, we have linear and nonlinear differential equations. So, first, we're going to recall the systems of linear algebraic equations. Mati pattern lang, ano? If we have linear system of M equations with N unknowns, unknowns, ano? So, it can be written in the form Ayan siya, ano? A sub 1, 1, X sub 1, A sub 1, 2, X sub 2, plus A sub 1, 3, X sub 3, up to X sub N. So, meron ka dyang N unknowns, to I unknowns. Then, meron ka dyang M equations kasi hanggang A sub M ka doon. So, meron kang 1, 2, 3 M equations with X sub 1, X sub 2, X sub 3, X sub N. So, N unknowns. So, yun ang form niya, ano? So, pag chinect mo, puro yung first degree. Check mo, ano, for first degree ang meron tayo dyan sa linear. So, in relation to partial, uh, to differential equations, so, a differential equation is considered linear in y. Linear in y tayo if it can be written in the form. So, a sub n of x and derivative of y with respect to x. a sub n minus 1 of x. We have n minus 1 derivative of y with respect to x up to a sub 1 of x derivative of y with respect to x. Then we have a sub 0 of x times y equals g of x. So dito, yung mga a sub n of x na yan, a sub n minus 1 of x, a sub 1 of x, a sub 0 of x, yan ay mga functions of x. Same with g of x. Pero pwede yung maging constant. Basta dapat yan, function of x or constant. Ngayon, sabihin yan, pag chinect mo yan, ating given equation, yung y, beti y, ano, y, sa kalahat ng derivatives, ay nakamultiply sa functions of x. Ngayon ang una, So, yung, yung ating variable na y, lahat ng mga derivatives ay dapat nakamultiply sa functions of x. Again, sabi ko kanina, yung mga a sub n of x na yan ay pwedeng maging constant. Same with your g of x here. While y, so yung y daw, at lahat ng mga derivatives ay first degree. Or power of 1. So, ayan. Tama naman. Yung y ay first degree lang. Lahat ng ating mga derivatives ay puro first degree. So, ayan yung form ng linear in y. So, ulit. Ang nakamultiply sa y, saka sa lahat ng mga derivatives, ay dapat puro functions of x. Then, yung y natin, and your derivatives, dapat lahat ay first degree para masabing linear in y yung ating differential equation. Okay, sample tayo. So, yan siya. Ito yun. Puro yan functions of x. Nakamultiply sa y saka sa mga derivatives. So, yun yung unang condition. Second, yung y, 
and all the derivatives must be first degree. So, ayan, first degree lahat yan. So, power of 1. So, equal dapat sa g of x or function of x. Actually, pagdating at sa topic na linear equation of first order, ang pinaka-pattern na ginagamit doon, ito. dy over dx plus p of x y equals q of x. Yan siya, ano? Ito yung ginagamit na pattern para masolve mo yung linear equation of first order. Gagawin mo ganito yung equation doon. Para makuha mo yung p of x, kukunin mo q of x. So, pag chinect mo rin yan, dyan, ang nakamultiply sa y ay function of x, saka sa derivative ay 1, ano, constant. So, okay yun. Pasok pa rin sa ano yun, sa function of x. Then, yung y, first degree, tapos yung derivative mo rin ay first degree. So, ayan talaga ay linear. So, linear equation yan. Tapos sabi first order kasi ito ay first derivative lang. So, ito yung ginagamit na pattern pag sinosolve na yung linear equation of first order. So, we're going to find P of X and Q of X. So, okay. Sample tayo. Number one, we have here Y double prime plus 3XY prime plus Y equals cosine X. Okay, so ano condition ha? Tingnan natin. Sabi dito, multiplied with y and all the derivatives are all functions of x. While y and all of the derivatives are all first degree or power of 1. O, doon muna tayo sa unang condition. So dito, ang nakamultiply sa y prime, derivative yan ay 3x. So yun ay function of x. Same with y double prime. Yun ay 1, numerical coefficient, saka sa y dito, 1 parehas yan. So, pwede dito ang constant, pasok sa function of x yun. So, tama tayo sa unang condition. Ano? Ang nakamultiply sa derivatives and y ay puro functions of x. Now, yun daw dapat derivatives at saka yung y ay first degree. So, first degree yan. No, first degree. First degree din lahat. So, ibig sabihin, ito rin ay function of x. Ito ngayon ay linear. So, equation number 1. Next, number 2. We have third derivative of y with respect to x plus e raised to x. Second derivative of y with respect to x minus y equals 2x. Ngayon natin ha. So, dito, nakamultiply sa second derivative ay e raised to x. So, ito ay function of x. Ito naman ay 1. So, yun pa rin ay constant. Ito rin ay 1. And then, our derivatives, so, y muna ay first degree. Second derivative mo, first degree din. Ito rin ay first degree. Ito ay function of x. So, meron ka pa rin dyang linear. Number 3, we have third derivative of y with respect to x plus 4y. Second derivative of y with respect to x minus y equals sin x. So, dito pa lang kita mo na, na hindi na yan linear. Kasi ang nakamultiply sa derivative mo ay function of y na. Kasi dapat siya na function of x. So, kung saan naka with respect dapat na nakamultiply. So, isubihin ito ngayon ay non-linear. Number 4, o oh, nabagi variable, gawa nating R and S. Magkumpara tayo ng definition, ha? If we have y equals f of x, so meron ka doon derivative of y with respect to x, meron kang dy over dx dyan. Ngayon, pag ang meron tayo ay dr over ds, sabihin nun, R is function of S. Ayun lang, ano? Yung R yung ating dependent, S ang independent variable natin. So, pag magbe-base tayo sa definition at sa taas, sabihin nun, yung R, dito is, so, meron tayong R, 
derivative na with respect to S. Again, by this definition, so we have multiplied with R and all of the derivatives are all functions of S. While R and all the derivatives are all of first degree or power of 1. So, ganun dapat. So, kumpara dito ha. So, dapat ang nakamultiply sa R no, saka sa lahat ng derivatives ay puro functions of S. So, ayun, sin S, 2S, ito ay constant. So, check tayo dun sa first condition. And then, dapat, yung iyong R, so, ayun, and then, derivatives are first degree, function of S, so, ito ngayon ay linear. So, ganun lang, ano? O, tingnan niyo yung equation, ano? Dapat, ang nakamultiply, yung nasa ilalim. No? You know, X, puro X dapat dyan. X, X, o dito Y na to eh. So, hindi na yan. S, dapat to S. No? Tapos, dapat to, you know, kung S sa taas, Y. So, Y lang yan. Y, R. So, R lang ito. Itong kabila, dapat, ganun din kung nasa ilalim. S at S. X o X yun. X, X pa din. So, ganun dapat, ano, para madaling tandaan. Tinan nyo yung ano. Kung ano yung nasa ilalim, yung dapat nakamultiply sa mga derivatives mo. Saka doon sa value ng y. Kung x, puro x dapat or constant na pwede. Number 5. We have here third derivative of y with respect to x. So, quantity squared dyan. Plus e raised to x. Second derivative of y with respect to x. Minus y equals 2x. So, ito. Check tayo dyan. Ano? X, function of x. Ito rin. Okay lang. Function of x pa rin kabilang side. Ngayon, yung y mo dito ay first degree. So, okay yun. Second derivative, first degree. So, okay pa din. Ngayon, doon sa may third derivative mo, second degree na yan, so, dyan na siya nag-fail. No? So, hindi na tayo linya. Kaya, meron tayo ngayong non-linear. So, yan yung introduction ng differential equations. Basta definition, as we have the order and degree of differential equation, then we have linear, non-linear, partial, and ordinary. Then, lilipa tayo ngayon muna sa types of solution. So, differential equation has three types of solution. First, doon tayo sa tinatawag na General solution. Ito yung solution na mayroong arbitrary constants. Wherein, kung ilan yung iyong constant, yun yung order ng ating equation. So, yun siya, ano? Pangalawa, we have particular solution. Ito yung solution obtained from number one, general solution. Ayan, sabi dito, after the values of constants were assigned. So, pag nakuha mo na yung values na constants, lalagay mo na, meron ka ng particular solution. Then, yung pangatlo, we have singular solution. Solution that does not contain any arbitrary constants or, and is not obtained from the general solution. So, yung nakaibahan, ano? Yung dalawa. So, para magkakawig sila, 2 and 3. Pareha silang wala nang arbitrary constants. Kaya lang yung 2, nagaling siya doon sa number 1. So, may values ng constants, ilagay mo sa, sa equation, meron kang particular solution. Ito naman, wala ka agad siyang constants, so meron kang singular solution. So, yun ang types ng solution ng differential equation. So, our next topic will be Formation of Differential Equations. So, okay.